victory stand with you and say congratulations. Well, I love it. Thank you, Brian. I love it very much. This is the great, greatest moment of my life. And I'm, just, I'm, I'm very proud of this bunch of guys. You know, we were a little bit surprised at how wide open you came into this game, and you challenged the Philadelphia defense right off. I know in your first third and three situation, you ran at them, and that was one thing you weren't supposed to be able to do. That's right. We, we weren't going to we weren't gonna pull any horns back. We were going to go with a big play. We were going to go after them within the realm of our, our, our game plan, and, and uh, that's, it just worked out fine. Jim Plunkett winds up the MVP of this game. We all know just what he's done. He's 13-2 and two as a starter. But let me ask you very honestly, when Dante went down at 2-3 and three after five weeks, did you think this could be possible? I didn't know if this could be possible. I knew we could win with Jim. I felt we could win with Jim because he was a fine quarterback, and we had a lot of confidence in him. I didn't know that it would come this far because that was right. We only had played five games. But once we got into the playoffs, I knew, I knew we were as good as any team in the playoffs, and we had a chance. We are eagerly awaiting, we might add, the arrival of Al Davis for the trophy presentation. Commissioner Pete Rozelle is standing right by us, uh, but we're waiting to see when Al arrives. Let me ask you something. Now, everybody is waiting to see what happens up here with Al and Pete. Was that all a fear or distraction, Tom? Never was. Never was a distraction. Al would never let it be a distraction. His main purpose was for us to win, prepare to win, and, and anything else was the secondary. He would take care of that in his own time. Did the team share that sentiment? The team did. The team never talked about anything but playing football and winning. That was how, would, how would you characterize the attitude of this team? This is a great, this is a very together team and a very courageous bunch of guys. They just, they never, did, did not, they refused to believe that they could do anything but win. Hold on one sec. It's not that I don't enjoy your company. I just want to ask Al Locasal, who's, who's Al Davis' assistant, has, has, has Al showing? There he is. Okay, we're awaiting the arrival of Al Davis. The amazing scene in here is that a number of players have gone cameras because they want to see this moment also. Al is coming with his fist raised in the air. You can hear it. organization because you had to win four postseason games. Today, of course, was the big one, the Super Bowl. I think it's a great credit to you for putting this team together. I think that Tom Flores clearly did one of the great coaching jobs in recent years, all season and particularly today. And it's a credit to some marvelous, dedicated athletes, especially Jim Plunkett and that offensive line today. All right. You've earned it. Congratulations. Al? Thanks very much. Uh... very much, Commissioner. You know, when you look back at the years of the glory of the Oakland Raiders, but this was our finest hour. This was the finest hour in the history of the Oakland Raiders. The Tom Flores, the coaches, and the great athletes, you were magnificent out there today. You really were. The years will go on. We owe a great tribute to all our alumni all over the country, the great fans, and we want to welcome back the hostages to the United States. And take pride and be proud. Your commitment to excellence and your will to win will endure forever. You will magnificent. Al, Al, congratulations. Is this one any sweeter than one four years ago? Well, this has been the sweetest because it's our finest hour. And I'm just so proud of everyone here. Just a great staff. Just great coach. I've got to ask you, can it be displayed as proudly in Oakland as Los Angeles? Well, I don't want to get into that, Brian. Now, I don't think that anyone should ever take away from the great game and the great achievement of our players. Al, congratulations Thank to him. very much. I wish Ed McGaw would here. He's coming down right now. He's my general partner and uh, just a super guy. And we're all so proud of this great trophy once again. Hi, Captain Gene. Thank you, Al. Commissioner, as you suggested, um, it was possible to separate the two, uh, the two Pedro's and the two Al Davises. There was no feud up here. All you can do is 
just compliment this club for what they've done this year. As I pointed out, they really did it the hard way. Pete, congratulations on a, on a tremendous 61st NFL season. Thank you. Thank you very much. We're going to step aside for just a moment. We